Hey Nathan, welcome to India and I want to understand what do you do at Dyson. We're really intrigued because you're doing so much in Dyson, but we all want to know how it goes. Thank you so much. It's really, really exciting to be here, especially as my first time in India. So I'm a design manager and I'm based in our global headquarters in Singapore, St. James Power Station. But prior to that, I've spent the last five years based in our new product innovation department, where really our job is quite simple. We are focusing on the problems others ignore and through exciting technologies, innovative concepts. And then now my responsibility is to take one of those concepts through to launch and the design and development teams working on that in Singapore. Superb. So, I mean, you've been working there for long now, I think almost six years, right? So what was your baby? How did it start? Which project? My baby? Well, I'm quite excited, excited, always excited to talk about V11. I think that was really quite game changing for Dyson. It pioneered two key technologies. The first was dynamic load sensing for DLS, as it's commonly called, in-house. That is where ultimately we react the suction depending on the floor type sensed, munching brush bar over 8,000 times a second to give users a deeper clean or to preserve runtime when they don't need it as well. The second piece was working on the display on the back of the product. And that was really key to alleviating a lot of users' anxiety around runtime, providing second by second countdown to the exact runtime left in the machine using a complex battery algorithm. Furthermore as well, it gives users confidence and feedback on how to answer certain common maintenance issues, whether it's a filter wash, whether it's a blockage, etc. So I guess there's no downtime when it comes to cleaning. Wow. So what has changed over the years? You know, you started with the D11 Absolute Pro and now we have Dyson V15 Detect. So what has changed over the years? All these technology that you've incorporated in your vacuum cleaners. One common theme when it comes to floor care is our users' awareness of health and well-being inside their homes is increasing globally. And therefore, throughout our range, we're constantly pioneering new technologies to give you a more hygienic and intelligent clean. When we look across the range in V15, our latest machine, an example of that is our laser detect, where ultimately now we're making those invisible dust particles that are commonly missed in, when, in our homes visible for users. Absolutely great. So how does it work? If you could explain how this whole process works, like I'm really, I think everybody in the audience and the viewers want to know exactly how the Dyson machine works. Well, I've got quite a surprise from today, actually. <laughs> Look, All the way from the Malmesbury. Oh, wow. Place, I brought away, brought a cutaway machine. What you're looking at here is a V15 model. Okay. And I think this really shows off some of the key technologies crammed inside our machines. If we start with the filtration system, yeah. common across our range is a five stage filtration system. It starts with the bin, where we capture particles as large as 500 microns. The second stage is our metal mesh, which captures micron particles as small as 400 microns. Then the third stage is our pioneering and patented root cyclone technology. And that filters out particles as small as 0.5 microns. Finally, and what's important to all Dyson machines is our HEPA filtration, where we actually filter out 99.97% of particles in the air as small as 0.3 microns. And therefore, we're expelling air that's cleaner than the air you breathe. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So this is like a portable air purifier also at the same time. <laughs> you could say that, you could say that. Across the machine, what you also see is our piezo sensor on our latest V15 machines. This is quite an incredible piece of technology that took over five years to develop, where ultimately we're using an acoustic piezo sensor to convert acoustic single signals into electrical signals. What this allows us to do is to characterize and count the particles that our machines are capturing and trapping, and then relay that to the user via the LCD display, giving confidence and scientific proof of a deep clean. Wow, so it's not about just dust, but also what's in that dust, right? Exactly. That's what's really important. You did this whole study on dust, like globally, 39 countries, 30,000 people. What exactly are the findings? Some interesting parts that you want to share? Mm. At Dyson, we like to fully understand a problem before we design a solution. And dust is a ubiquitous problem that we find in every single household worldwide and often commonly overlooked too. With a global dust study, what we're really understanding is people's cleaning habits and also behaviors across the world to expand and earn awareness of dust and its impact on health and well-being. With the global study this year, we interviewed over 33,000 respondents across 33 different countries. Wow. So, I mean, any specific findings from India that you've, like, as a learning? Mm. What was really interesting in India was the awareness of virus in household dust. Over 50% of Indians are aware of the presence, and that's higher than the global average. 
That's alarming, absolutely alarming. And any studies during the pandemic, any change in user behavior, any more purchases that you felt, anything that you kind of evolved during the pandemic that you thought this technology is needed? Definitely, when we compare our findings in India to last year, what we've seen is the frequency of cleaning has increased, actually, and it's the highest across the whole of the APAC region, with 67% of Indians cleaning five to seven times per week. But what's also very interesting is the motivation behind cleaning too. What we're finding is more and more Indians are reactive cleaners. They're responding to visible dusts. And this is alarming because what we find is the majority of dust is actually microscopic. It's hidden. And I think that's where the laser detection comes in place, right? You see things that you not can, cannot see. Through. Exactly. What we find with our Indian consumers is 61% of them only clean when they see this dust on the floor. And therefore, dust is made up of a complex matrix of different components. Dust mites, dust mite feces, bacteria, fur, mold, and even small insects too. And a lot of these are naked to the invisible eye. And also, not just on the surface either. They find themselves across every surface in the home too. Even a small act such as sitting on a sofa can disturb a lot of these particulates that are missed and push them into the air, where perhaps allergen sufferers can inhale them, or perhaps they settle in other areas. So you have whole ecosystem of devices like the air purifiers, and you're also coming up with a personal air purifier, which is like state of the art and something from a Skyfire movie. You also have your vacuum cleaners. Is there an ecosystem that you're working on that you know solves all the problem? Because there's one product that I really want Dyson to bring is a car air purifier. Because I know I'm safe at home. I know you know everything is protected by Dyson. When I get into my car, I'm like, I wish I had a Dyson air purifier inside my car. That's really interesting. And while I can't comment on our future innovations. I think what's clear when we look across our, our users is that their awareness of health inside their home and also outside their home and even hair science is increasing and therefore a lot of innovations are looking to tackle some of these pervasive problems. Thank you so much and uh, I definitely want to meet you soon and talk more about what is next because you told me you're working on a lot of new devices and especially another baby project of yours. Exactly, we're really excited to come back to India soon and hopefully launch some new products. Great, thank you so much. Tan. Thank you.